Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel after forever. Uh, yeah, please ignore it if you can hear the construction sound. But welcome to my first Zoom meeting where I am alone. Okay, and I'm recording this meeting and I'm going to upload this. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about this platform Internshala. Before we start, this is not a sponsored video, nor do I work in their team or anything. It's just I want to share my personal experience. So what is this platform? And now all of us as students, especially for us who are in the 12th grade, we are stuck, we don't have exams. We don't know about our exam. So why not use this time to explore different things and to earn a lot of that? So Intention is basically a platform where companies put up that they have an opening and uh, this is the role of the person and you can apply over there. So what I'm going to show you today is the entire tutorial of this platform, how you can set up, how you can do everything. I'm going to start with creating a fresh account. I'm going to use a spare details to create a fresh account so that you have the entire tutorial. So I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, so you go to internshala.com and this is the page you will appear at. You need to enter your email ID and sign up. So you can enter your details, enter your password, whatever you want to keep. Okay, now once you enter your details, whatever is asked, you will have to verify your email ID. So you go to your Gmail and you verify your email ID. So I'm going to verify my email now. Yes, so I have verified my email and it directly takes me to the platform again. Like it logs me in. Okay, so if I'm going to continue on my laptop, I'm going to close this and refresh the page. Or I'm just simply going to log in with my details. So, I enter my details and this is the page that it brings me next. So your title, you do Mr. Mrs. Miss, whatever, enter your phone number and uh, your current city if you wish to put your second city you can go ahead you can put your second city what are you currently looking for you can depends you know if you're looking out for internships or fresher jobs basically you get all the recommendations on the same page but just for a formality you can choose whatever you're looking out for i will choose work from home if in case you feel in your area or in your city Definitely not in the COVID times, but maybe after some time, you think that uh, you can go in office, you can go for in office, you can check box in office at, as well. So now what are the preferences? What are you wishing and willing to work in? So I will put social media marketing. I'll put digital marketing because I feel these are the fields that I'm good at. Um, social media marketing, digital marketing, uh, there's Instagram. Okay, it's not showing. So see, there are so many options here below. You can put graphic design. You can put more preferences if you want. And you save this. Okay, this is the home page that it gets you to. You can start browsing and applying. But now here's the thing. You cannot apply if you don't have a resume. Okay, so you have to build your resume. So what you're going to do is on the left side, you take, go to your profile and you go to edit resume. Okay, when you go on edit resume, this is what it shows you. So you can add your education. So completed education, put your year, put your board. If you want to put your school, you can. That's your wish. That's completely your choice. 
once this is complete like you can add your if you are graduated you can add your graduation if you're still in secondary senior secondary in 12th like me you can put that uh, you can put any diploma courses that you have done any phd if you have done so then you go on to next you can add a job if you've done in the past you can add an internship if you've done in the past now positions of responsibility um a lot of us who, who would be watching this video must be in college and there are lots of events which keep happening in college so what you can do is all the college events that you have participated in put it in positions of responsibility because that is a position of responsibility like you took up the responsibility to help in the organization of an event so like let's say for example in jaihind college there is josh so i took part in josh 2019 so i wrote josh 2019 hyphen organizing committee member or committee member now depends if you have more events you'll have to shorten the words that you put in because there's a character limit there's a character limit of 250 like you can put only 250 characters so uh, this if if in case you don't have anything you can skip this step you definitely must be having something from this okay positions of responsibilities your college events then we have trainings or courses any kind of training any kind of course you have done be it dance drama music painting anything just put it let it just reflect in your resume okay just let it be there it's okay if it's not related social media marketing is no how is dance related to that you know but it is something in me so i put it okay that is what i will put over there academic and personal projects in my opinion um, if you've done any project of your own like um, maybe some charity like you started a a petition like let's say the petitions that keep running around so if you started something like big like that you can enter that otherwise we can skip this step okay now skills these are the skills that i will choose so i'll choose social media marketing um you can choose the level that you know okay this is how you choose everything you can look out you can type here and see if you have any other keywords in mind and if they appear you can select that next next is work samples now suppose you have done internships you have done um stuff in the past like you've done anything and you have the work samples of that you've created something upload it on a google drive and here is where you will share the link of that google drive okay this is uh, what will appear if you have any of these like now i have my blog site so in blog links i will put my blog site in other work sample link i will put my samples my google drive link additional details here again now if you have certificates of these college events that you participated in or if you have any other kinds of certificates accomplishment again make a separate google drive folder of that and upload that google drive link okay okay so this is how your resume will look whatever you have entered here will all come up over here okay once this is done we will go back to internships okay we will go back to internships now here is the thing there is one thing there are internships of every amount okay so if you feel that you are a beginner you don't have experience if in case there are a lot of unpaid internships as well if if i told you wish to go ahead for the unpaid ones just to gain experience just to get certificates you can go ahead it's completely your choice completely completely your choice okay now here you can choose uh, show usually this category shows um i don't know why this category is not showing but uh, maybe because i have not fully completely filled my resume okay so this is the amount that you can set the minimum that you desire if you desire 6000 and uh, um all of these work from home and so i am not really sure why this is not appearing but you can set up all of that and 
it also you can also get internships based on your preferences okay so the preferences that we put social media marketing and the fields that we're interested in you also get according to that if not you can this category will be highlighted so you can go to this categories and uh, okay now i know why this is that okay i don't want to see according to my preferences now there is category so you can see there is net development 3d printing accounts acting there is there are so many options and each option has so many so many internships okay so this is the thing now i want to select let's say social media marketing and i have set minimum six six thousand i want per month if you want okay work from home you select if you wish to select part time you can turn that on starting from if you wish to put a start date you can go ahead usually i don't put any other filters in this and uh, location also because it's work from home you don't really need to put a location and match duration if suppose you think okay maybe you have to move out after your results or you know the something that you can't commit to you can put the maximum duration that you can commit to okay now let's take for example this first one okay let's view the details okay see now here you can see the number of applicants there are thousand plus applicants for this this is the stipend per month this is the duration that they are looking out for for an intern okay this is the company information and this is the this is the work profile okay now who can apply uh, it's okay like you can i mean this is what i do please if you want to read each and everything please go ahead there's nothing as such okay uh, these are most the, these details who can apply mostly same in all of the internships number of openings so they have 20 openings okay so i'll click on apply now proceed to application okay why you should be hired for this role now you have to put a good answer suppose you're a beginner you have to mention that i am a beginner and i want to increase my knowledge my learning my experience by working like you have to mention that along with the other whatever other part of the answer you will be putting that why you have to be hired okay are you available for three months yes i am available for this this much time if not uh no i will be able to come to only one month you know you have to enter all of that so i'm going to enter an answer now because i this is a dummy account uh i'm just going to enter this is the fun part. Okay, now we're going to submit. Okay, you have applied. Now you can go back to internship search. If you wanted to go through those suggestions that came, you can do that. Okay, now when you go to, you go here. To, okay, let's let's apply for a second one before we move ahead. Okay, so we'll do view details. Okay, read all the details, read the work profile, see the amount, read everything. We do apply now proceed to application the best part is if it's in the same category this is what it will show you copy from your last application and edit okay so you don't have to retype the whole answer you don't have to copy paste it anywhere else uh, if you want like for your reference like maybe if you're applying for another field you just need that base you can copy and keep it for yourself but yeah you can copy the like the answer gets copied and you submit okay now we go back to internship search next i go in my profile and i go to my applications 
Here's where I'm going to come to know. Yeah, read these security details. Got it. Okay, now this is where you're going to see where, where you have applied. What are the number of applicants in that particular opening? Okay, you can review your application, what you have answered, what, okay? And this application status, now, right now I have applied. Now, what else comes is under review. That means they are going through your profile. Next is um, hired, like if you get hired, it comes as hired. If they have messaged you on Intonshala chat, it will say in touch. So there are three to four um, different types of sig signals that they give you in application status. Okay, next now on the top next to your profile is messages. This is the Intonshala chat. Okay. Okay, so it won't really show you uh, that if you haven't received any chat, but okay, no problem. This is where you go for your chats. This is same. So when you go to internships, like let's take one. Um, let's take, for example, this one. Okay, I like this. So I'm going to save this. Okay, and then you can check those saved one. Maybe you, you're not in the frame of mind to apply and answer at that time. You can save it and you can refer back to it in your saved. Okay, next there are fresher jobs. Again, um, there are the same categories. There are fresher jobs. So jobs are uh, the higher payment, longer duration. Online trainings. Now there are a lot, these are a lot of trainings that are given by intern Shala. So if in case you feel this particular thing, I think they are paid, I've not really checked them out. But if you think that um, maybe you're not trained in particular thing, first thing you can, if you get shortlisted by a firm, you can ask them that, will you provide me training? I'm really a big one. If not, you can go through these. If you feel you can take up these courses, you can take them up. That's not a problem. And then you can go ahead and apply. Now, this is you can edit your resume anytime suppose you completed one month of an internship and you want to edit add that in your resume you can edit your resume anytime okay now when you do edit resume you have a download icon right next to your name you have a download icon so you can download your resume from there and um, you can um, use it you know if suppose you are applying externally or maybe some of the companies they some of them mail they mail you directly rather than communicating on internal chat so you can go you can download your resume and you can send that resume via mail to the company or you know whatever is asked now fun fact very 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 interesting this this is your rating when you create your account okay i will do no more okay and i want to increase my rating so let's take attempt level one okay see there are very basic questions very very basic questions now apart from this it's like they give you a sample of one person's answer and sample of other person's answer they say this person has written this way this person has written this way whom do you think is more likely to get higher or to get this and get the internship so there are simple questions like this every level that you pass your rating increases by 0.1 so now if i complete this my rating will go up to 4.1 which is amazing like if somebody's checking out your profile it's definitely you know a plus point okay how will your rating decrease if you use any unprofessional behavior you don't reply to the uh, people who message you on internship whether see if there is one thing even if you don't want to do the internship if you're not interested or maybe you got some other one just inform that hi i got another job or hi i'm no longer interested i'm sorry send it to them it's okay it's completely fine okay uh that is one thing and uh, there is okay so um one thing is one thing is that i have learned all this on my own i have not done any training i have not learned this from anyone i've this rating thing also i recently discovered on my own by just clicking on everything and that's how i got it um okay apart from this uh, there is 
एक टर्नशाला स्टूडेंट प्रोग्राम है इफ यू कम ऑन योर होम स्क्रीन ओनली इट्स जस्ट दैट इट्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ यू विश टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दे आर टीम इफ यू विश टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दे आर टीम सो मे बी यू नो यू विल बी आस्ट टू हेल्प ग्रो द प्लेटफॉर्म सो दर इज एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर दैट एज वेल यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दैट इफ यू विश टू आई अटैच दी लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन and yeah that is about it so you can go ahead um you have to like this is what i have been doing you have to apply for at least 10 per day because out of the 10 one person will reply to you on the chat or maybe will try to connect with you okay so when you apply for 100 only then will you get three or four proper nice ones and my suggestion is you take up three to four you manage your day that this much time this time of the day i have to give for this person i have to give for this person okay in this way even if all are of 2000 if you take up three also three internships of 2000 each how bad is 6000 per month you're earning it of your own okay and once that starts once you just start somewhere it's going to be a big motivation for you trust me big motivation <laughs> after that the entire day you just sit on applying you say give me more okay come on okay so yeah that was it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts any questions please please comment below reach out to me i will reply to you and uh, one last thing thank you so much for all the love on my events of jain college uh, just one message to all my friends who commented over there like i have said i have gotten in touch with the authorities and once the admission start once things get better i am going to connect with them and shoot the process admission process and everything so stay tuned for that i am trying to get back on youtube i'm sorry but yeah that was it for this video thank you so much for watching